Everyone needs somewhere to do everyday banking, keep their money safe, pay their bills, and so on. But did you know banks aren't the only place to do this? There's also building societies and credit unions. What's the difference, you may ask? Here goes. Banks offer current accounts, mortgages, and loans to their customers. They also do investment banking, which involves potentially risky deals, including some on the money markets. When you deposit, say, £100, the bank can make loans of £100 to more than one person, thus increasing the supply of money. This is known as fractional reserve banking. Banks are owned by those who own shares in the bank, known as shareholders. Like any business with shareholders, its primary purpose is to make a profit for its owners, with any profit it makes being reinvested or distributed to the shareholders. This is the key difference between banks and both building societies and credit unions. Neither building societies nor credit unions have shareholders. They have members, who put more simply, are their customers. But what's the difference between the two? Building societies were originally set up to help build houses. Like banks, they offer mortgages, loans and savings accounts. Most big ones you see on the high street also offer current accounts. Unlike banks, their profits benefit the members or customers through better borrowing or savings rates. They may borrow on the money markets, but don't get involved in risky investment banking. Their board of directors is elected by members, which is everyone with an account. Anyone can open an account with the building society. Credit unions, on the other hand, generally restrict membership, for example, to residents of an area or those in a particular profession. Like building societies, their owners are their members, any of whom can stand for the board. Most credit unions offer savings accounts, loans, some offer current accounts, but very few offer mortgages. Although credit unions don't pay interest on savings accounts, if they make a profit, they pay their members a share or dividend at the end of the year. Because they're focused on serving their members rather than maximizing profits, they are often able to make smaller, shorter term loans that many banks simply don't offer and at reasonable rates. So you see, there's important differences between the three in terms of how they operate, who owns them, and what they offer. Money makes change. Connecting faith and finance for a fairer world.